Time now for Tom Holly in this week's edition of the Video Vault. And November 2015 marks the 20th anniversary of the release of the movie Casino. This week, a look back with a man who covered some of the key events depicted in that movie, former News 3 photographer Greg Rundell. On October 4, 1982, Rundell was heading over to Sunrise Hospital, where his wife worked to join her for dinner when he heard something about a car fire on the scanner and almost ignored it. Car fire wasn't something we normally didn't cover, but I was so close I decided to go over. Rundell had been covering the crime in court speed and quickly realized it was something much bigger. And I went over and I immediately noted, uh, recognized Frank. That's Frank Lefty Rosenthal, lightly fictionalized in Casino as Sam Ace Rothstein by Robert De Niro in the scene that both opens and closes the movie. So I got out and shot it. You know, he was still literally, there was steam coming off of him from the fire. Rundell was given a commendation from his news director to the general manager, and Don DeGilio used his column in the Valley Times to mock the other stations for trailing so far behind. I think we broke in live with it, and once we broke in, the other stations started to show up. Rundell's other close mob encounter came in a routine part of his job. My beat was the federal courthouse, so I was constantly there with Tony Spilatro and, and Oscar and the whole gang that would come in and out of there. In Casino, Tony Spilatro was played as Nicky Santoro by actor Joe Pesci. We used to sit in the bottom of the uh, federal courthouse at the elevators waiting for the court to break, and that was our opportunity to get the B-roll of them coming in or out of the court. On one occasion, after Rundell finished shooting video and put down his camera, Spilatro noticed and paused. He turned around and said, uh, you want to have a sandwich? And, and across the street from the courthouse was a little sub place. Basso's Italian grinder house was very popular with the courthouse crowd. So he uh, took me over and bought me a subway. And we, uh, we didn't have much of a conversation, but he actually uh, offered uh, to take me to lunch. So that was something unique in the splotter days. Greg Rundell enjoyed the crime and courthouse beat so much that in 1985 he joined the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, working both as a regular beat cop and a specialist in the audio visual department until retiring just last year. Channel 3 still has plenty of Rundell's tapes stored in the video vault. Kim and Dana. I love that I, story. Bravo. And yeah, bravo. And I guess Tony Spilatro could be very charming when he wanted to be. I've I'm heard that. Uh, well, Joe Pesci definitely depicts it that way. Yeah.